a boxing voice here with Rick Moroni, a San Antonio trainer, um, you know, in training uh, James Kirkland for this big, big fight going on uh, May 9th in Houston, Texas, man. First off, um, how's camp been so far? Oh, it's been great, man. We've been, you know, the team is, you know, it's a new team for him, but every, everything's coming together. You know, everybody gets along, and everybody's pretty much on the same page, man, just trying to get James that victory on May 9th. Do you think that maybe James being out of Austin and training here in San Antonio where he's not at home close to all the troubles he's used to getting into, you think that's kind of an edge for him too so y'all can focus on him? Yeah, definitely, man, definitely. I mean, for any fighter to get out of their, you know, their yeah. city a little bit and have training camp, it's, it's always a positive thing. Um, the great thing about that, though, is it was James' choice. You know, he, he's the one that himself pulled himself out of Austin. So, you know, that kind of speaks a lot of volume on his his uh, focus and his preparation for this fight, determination to win this fight. So, yeah, it's always good for a fighter, but especially one like James, you know, it's it's very it's very very positive thing. And as Baby Baby Clinton, this because it's it's kind of unfair. A lot of people are already writing him off because of his, his his sudden change. So, what what would you say to those that are kind of detractors, saying that you know he's not going to win this fight because he's not with Ann Wolf? Well, you know, I mean, there's been a lot of negative. You know, it's just a lot of negative things, and James is taking it very well as, as we are. Um, you know, he's. People keep saying he's undefeated with Ann. He only has one loss. You're not talking to a guy that has three, four losses. Um, and you can't replace an Ann Wolf. You know, she has that great bond with James Kirkland. Uh, however, um, James felt in this fight, you know, he was going to need to be um, a little smarter, a, a, um, a little more intelligent to win this fight. I mean, Canelo's a, a great fighter. He's here for a reason. So, you know, he made that change. And that's what we're looking to do is just kind of make him, you know, not change nothing. Kind of keep that same killer instinct in him, but just a little more intelligence to his game. And I see kind of an edge because you're like a young athletic guy. You could probably fight yourself. And that's something that Ann Wolf was able to do. She was able to keep up with him in his training. So is that kind of something you see where, you know, since he's such an athletic fighter and he has so much power, you know, and the explosiveness, the way he fights, that uh, you, you're a good fit because you can keep up with him on mitt work and whatever he's doing out there in training. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, I mean, I push James, you know. I'm, I'm not, like I said, I'm not Ann. I'm not going to get it. He's a man. I'm not going to get in his face in a certain way, but, you know, he's been in the game long enough to know the things he needs to do and the things he doesn't need to do. Um, you know, so, yeah, we, I mean, we train very well, man. I mean, we have that connection even, you know, being a young person. You know, I, I think I'm a year younger than he is. So, um, but, you know, it, it's it's great. You know, it's a great bond we have. And, um, okay, and going back to James, um, you know, we, we, he's had a surgery, and that's something he, he talked about, that he's he's been fighting with a messed up so shoulder for a while. And now that that's repaired, are y'all kind of seeing that where he's had more wrinkles to his uh, boxing IQ? Yeah, you know, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, the, the shoulder surgery is something that hasn't had an effect in camp yet. You know, it has there's been no issues with it. You know, he feels good with it. Um, but, I mean, you never know. You know, I mean, there, there's times where, you know, we do, we do our little hesitant in the gym of him throwing certain punches and stuff like that. But, you know, I mean, he's good, man. You know, there's just, you know, there's a lot of negativity going on right now. But, you know, this is where we make these believers, you know, May 9th. And you know, when, he come, when he comes out victorious, not if, when, you know, it, it's, it's going to be very satisfying for all of us. And that, does that motivate y'all? Because I know y'all are a fighter of team. Y'all see that as a motivator to, to go ahead and prove all the naysayers wrong and uh, come out with the upset win? Definitely, man. There's no better motivation than, especially me, man. I've been, you know, I've been kind of on the edge for many years. and I, But I've been putting a lot of, God has put me in a lot of great positions at a young age as a trainer. But, you know, um, one thing I do know is that age doesn't, uh, dedication doesn't respect an age. You know, when you put work in, man, you dedicate yourself to something. I mean, anything's possible. So, you know, now I'm in this situation, of course. You know, I, I know how the criticism we're going to get, you know, me and Gerald Tucker and, you know, those things. But, um, yeah, it's just motivation, man. It's just fuel to the fire. And, you know, when he wins, like I said, I can't wait to wake up in the morning and see the comments. All right, uh, two more questions. Um, you know, going, going into this fight, um, you know, what, what, what can we expect to see out of the new James Kirkland with the new team? And, uh, you know, seeing that y'all kind of have a good balance between trainer and, and conditioning coach with Baby and McClinton, um, which a lot of people don't realize is important, uh, what can we expect to see May 9th? I can see a great James Kirkland, a complete James Kirkland. You know, um, people throw darts at his defense, at his, you know, his lack of ability to cut the ring off sometimes, his, his lack of ability to use his jab, you know, to set things up. You're going to see a lot more smarter as James Kirkland. The same guy, like I said, the same guy. You know, Canelo's never felt someone like James. You know, Canelo's been in there with some great fighters, don't get me wrong, but he's never felt someone with the power that James Kirkland possesses. So, you know, yeah, it's going to, you know, you know we, and we all know Canelo fight, I mean, there's nothing, he ain't changed his whole career, it ain't gonna change now. You know, he fights good solid two minutes out of every round, takes his breaks, guess what? James Kirkland fights every second of every round. You know, so if we can just correct the little things, you know, to be drown in, to get into the deep waters, you know, I feel very, 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 very confident in this fight. Any last words, anything you wanna get, for, get off your chest or address? 
No, I mean, just, you know, Texas support James Kirkland. You know, I mean, he's training here in San Antonio. San Antonio get behind him. You know, this is a, um, a big time fighter, you know, he decided to bring camp, you know, in the south side of San Antonio. So, you know, we take a lot of pride in that here in San Antonio. So, you know, just expect a good, good fight between James Kirkland and Canelo Alvarez. I put the boxing world on notice. Uh, Rick Marone is coming up trainer, man. I uh, appreciate the time, man. Good luck. Appreciate it, man. Thank you.